Ionization energy is the energy required to remove the most loosely held electron from an atom or an ion. Usually this is the outermost electron or the valence electrons. So ionization energy is the energy needed to remove an electron. The general trend for ionization energy is it increases as you go up and to the right on the periodic table. So nonmetals have the highest ionization energy, therefore they don't lose electrons very easily, and our metals are going to lose electrons more easily because they have a lower ionization energy. Make sure though that you never put the reason why as being the element is higher up and to the right. That's a general trend, not a reason why. Ionization energy decreases as you go down a column because there's more shielding. The atoms are getting larger, which means that the outermost electrons are being held more loosely and therefore it doesn't take as much energy to remove them. So as the atoms get larger, there's less pull from the positive nucleus. Ionization energy increases as I go to the right because atom size is decreasing because there is a greater effective nuclear charge. Therefore, the outer electrons are closer to the nucleus, requiring more energy to remove them. So figure out which has the higher ionization energy, magnesium or barium. So we find our elements, here's magnesium and barium. And so you should have said that magnesium has a higher ionization energy. For the reason why, magnesium has less energy levels, and thus its outer electrons are shielded less from the nuclear charge than barium's outer electrons, requiring more energy to remove an electron from magnesium. Make sure you write all of that explanation down. When you finish, figure out which one has a higher ionization energy, aluminum or silicon. Restart when you have your answer. Here's aluminum and here's silicon. So your answer should have been silicon. For your reason, aluminum and silicon both have three energy levels. But silicon is smaller and has a greater effective nuclear charge. Therefore, silicon has a higher ionization energy. After you finish that one, figure out the last one of who has the higher ionization energy, magnesium or chlorine. Write your response of why and have that ready for class. Second ionization energy is the energy Second ionization energy is the energy required to remove the second electron. The second ionization energy is always greater than the first ionization energy because the electron being removed will be from a positive ion instead of a neutral atom. So then I have more protons to electrons in a positive ion, which would pull the electrons in tighter, making it harder to remove them. We can also have third, fourth, and so on ionization energies 
for different electrons being removed. To see what that looks like, it says write the equation for the ionization of sodium metal. So I would start with sodium metal. And ionization energy is the energy needed. So I need energy, so plus energy. Energy to remove an electron. When I remove an electron from sodium, it's going to become positive. And I have an electron as well. So that's the equation for the ionization of sodium metal. You start with the element. It requires energy and it turns into the sodium or the element positive and an electron. If we were to write the ionization energy for Na plus 1, we would start with Na plus 1. Again, it's going to require energy, more energy than before, but energy. This time, though, my charge should become a positive 2 because I've now removed a second electron. And there's my electron. I'm going to pause the video and try the last one on your own. Restart when you have your answer. If you set Na plus 2 plus energy yields Na plus 3 and an electron, you are correct. You will likely see a question like this on your tests and quizzes and worksheets. It says that we have sodium, magnesium, and aluminum, and we're given some data of the first, second, third, and fourth ionization energies. When looking at a picture like this, you must see where the biggest gap is. We go from first to second. Notice that's almost 10 times of an increase. Second and third, it's not even double. And third and fourth, again, not even double. So this is where my biggest increase is, between the first and second. On the second row, our biggest increase is between the second and the third. Again, we doubled. Then we did a lot increase. And again, only 3,000 increase. And the last one, our biggest increase, is between three and four. When you see the big increase, that means that we have now started removing valence electrons. So here's sodium. Once we remove one electron, then we're going to start removing our inner electrons. So this one must be sodium. The second one must have two valence electrons because then we start removing core electrons. So that one would be magnesium. And here we have three valence electrons because the fourth one requires much more energy, so we must be removing from a core. Core electrons are our noble gases and over. So when sodium loses one from the 3s, now it's in the 2, which was closer to the nucleus, or a core electron. Pause the video and figure out which group this would most likely be in. Groups as in 1A, 2A, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 8A. So first, you need to figure out where the biggest jump was. You should have identified the biggest jump right here, which means four electrons came off relatively easily. So it has four valence electrons. This column, or group 4A, has four valence electrons. So this is most likely an element in this column. What do you do with a dead chemist? Barium. 